we want to uh, basically express the feeling that it was not a major reaction. Society was viewing this kind of news across the media in the print channels as well as electronic media and it was boiling. And this was a point where the society reacted to it and said enough is enough and we need to speak up. It is our daughters, it is our sisters, it is our mother who are being abused so occasionally and we need to speak up about this issue because someday or the other my daughter, my mother, my sister can be in such a difficult circumstances. So it was just like a tea boiling and it went over everything and the government had to express their uh, 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 concern over this particular issue. Thank you. You know, I think um, it's pretty clear, Professor Leslie, that you just can't legislate change. People have to believe it in order to make it happen. So how do you think that this film, or how do you hope that this film really will shed light on the root cause of violence against women and its really culture, shifting the way that people value women in our society? Well, I think change of mindset is probably the biggest ask we can make. I happen to believe, I mean, I am a really impassioned filmmaker, and I have made films which have engendered change. I made a film with released seven men sorry, six men from 17 years of wrongful imprisonment, when for 17 years they were trying to get that miscarriage of British justice reversed and uh, they didn't manage to. So I do believe you can move mountains with film. Uh, film is, is actually, you know, leads an audience to make a political act of generosity in seeing things from the point of view of others that empathetic journey, and I think this film does have the power to do that, you know, in terms of assaulting our civilized sensibilities, uh, affronting us, upsetting us, moving us, infuriating us. So I think that does in itself lead to some mindset change, which then leads people to reappraise their actions. Um, I know we don't have much time, but just one tiny anecdote. I was, uh, I, I screened the film in a small conference room in Delhi at a time when I was still able to make changes to it. And I screened it to the interviewees in the film, just to ask them, was it balanced? Was it, you know, did I need to make any changes? And there were three waiters in the room who watched the 90 minutes as it was then. Um, despite being asked by me, to leave because they were putting up the snacks quite noisily and we could get into the film. They just stood and watched this film mesmerized for 90 minutes. Remember it's half in English, that's not easy for them. And then one of them took me upstairs in the lift with my credit card to pay the bill for the screen. And he said, and these were his exact words, he said, ma'am, you've made a beautiful film, a heart-touching film. And I said, thank you, tell me, this is really important to me to know. Is this film going to make you think about how women in your family are treated and women in your country? And he said, ma'am, it surely will, and I will surely change. <clears throat> That's the power of film. started talking with the Education Board in Maharashtra to take this film through their 189,000 volunteers to every school in Maharashtra. That is 20 million young students. So we are going to change things and have indeed already started to.